Why, hello there, everybody. Bleaker here, and we are starting a brand new series. So, uh, we'll get to that in a second. Welcome to Cube Survival. Your mission is to explore all the cube biomes and gather goods. You must find the 14 pieces of obsidian that will lead you to the final mission. The portal must be built in the portal item just in front of this cube. Oh. So, let's read this. Quest. Ooh, good. They're starting us off with stuff. That I like. That I like. Welcome to Cube Survival, Stranger. A curse has been set upon our lovely world. Now it's time to fight back. The Queen of Dark Horizons... What? Is in possession of the Book of the Damned. That's unfortunate. Mild that is mildly unfortunate, quite frankly. I am f unfortunately mild by this situation. Of survival and adventure. Adventure time! You have to survive and prepare in these cuboid worlds? Cuboid? Cubanoid? And after you're done, you must travel to hell. I feel like I'm already here. To destroy the Book of the Damned. Forever freeing our world from malevolence. In your first cube biome, there are hints that will guide you to success. In each cube biome, there is one hidden chest full of goodies and two obsidian blocks required to travel to hell. The portal must be built in the portal island. There are seven cubes in total. You must explore them all thoroughly, but beware. The caves are filled with monsters. To survive and advance, you have to look everywhere for resources. Without them, you cannot survive in hell. Each cube has a danger level, so be careful when adventuring into them. Once you've found all the obsidian blocks, you must create the, por the portal in the portal island just ahead of the forest cube you're in right now. Be, be well prepared. So be prepared for your final quest, and best of luck, soldier. Signing off, Eldgar. Alrighty. Okay, that's all hunky-dory. Mines can be dangerous. Always bring torches. The first mine was lit up for accommodation. Look carefully for our resources as they are scarce. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do here is welcome you all. This is the brand new freaking channel here. The brand new freaking survival. There's a cube. Hidden chest with goods. You have found all 14. Build a portal. As you contain, find them as they can. Alright. So, brand new survival series. And as I always say, guys, if you guys ever want to see anything, any particular series on the channel, you know, give me a heads up. I'm here to accommodate for the YouTuber. Ooh, cold. I'm here to accommodate for the YouTubers. Like, Send me a link or something, and I will gladly take a look at it and see if it'll fit into the channel dynamics. Okay, looks like we are starting off pretty good here. Lots of resources. Pigs. So we'll have something to eat. How do I want to do this? How do I want to play at this? So let's get set up first here before we go mining. I want to... Ooh, I know what I really need to do. I need to... We're going to cut down both of these trees, and we're going to attempt to start a tree farm, because wood is going to be very, very important in this. Wood is always very important in this. Okay, we got that down. So we'll try and get started with some saplings and stuff. I'll build some chests. We'll get the basic necessities done. I will probably mine out the entire bottom area if time, if I have time to do so. Pigs. So I know what I'm going to be using for a food source. But I don't just want to use solely pigs. So I'm going to... Here's what I'm thinking. We'll... I'm actually starting to get... I'm st finally starting to get in the mind frame for commentary here. You can't, like, focus too much on the game. So here's what I'm thinking, though. I'm going to make a wheat farm. And after that, I shall... Start gathering up the pigs. Yeah, I'll start gathering up the pigs. Oh, thank you for letting me take inventory. I'll gather up all the pigs into, like, pens, and we'll start doing breeding. Let's set up this... This corner seems as good as any other. It gave me wool for, I assume, a bed, so I probably want to be in my best interest to do something with that. Oop. Sweet. I need to make a hoe. Make a 
couple bundles of sticks here. And wooden hoe time. Stop! Hoe time! Yeah. I'm pretty sure pigs can break these just by stepping on them, which is going to be annoying. So we'll let those grow. Now I need a furnace here. Oh, the frickin' pigs. This is great. I'm 95% sure there should be some form of lava on this island, so a cobblestone generator will be right up there on my list of things I need to get and possibly create. There is a list of achievements for this map. I don't know them. It was on the website. I went to go view them, but the website's currently down, so I will have to leave all the achievements and stuff in a link in the description. Or I'll leave... I'll put all the achievements in the description, then I'll leave a link to the server and stuff. Not server. Bleh. I can't English today. Alright, so that's all the basic necessities. Let's get a reed farm going. I'm really going to be banking on a big oak tree. That's what I'm really banking on. So we'll plop this here. Excellent. Collect up the last of these saplings. I certainly have enough to continue on. Let's plop you here. We'll plop you right there. I shall drop you here. Ooh, sun's starting to get low. And bed. My brother keep changing my skin. I had to yell at him for that. I just realized at one point I cut my recording when hitting incorrect buttons, so we'll just, uh, eh, we'll forget that happened. I gotta tie this thing in with something other than the F9 key. Alright, so it looks like pigs won't trample my stuff here, so that's good. Now, let's explore the underground area. I checked out the other, er the next area, it's a plains area. It looks kind of cool, but I'm not gonna head there quite yet. Because I heard an Enderman, and nobody deserves that. What the hell are with all the pigs? Uh, everybody out. Everybody out, 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 out. Okay, so this is clearly the bottom of the map. Okay. This isn't so bad. Yeah. Can you dig it? Okay, that should be enough cobblestone to hold me over. Well, I'm starting off here. So we got dirt, we got iron here. That's right, I need a stone pickaxe. I haven't played just straight vanilla survival in such a long time. I'm I'm a bit rusty. I don't usually I don't usually do um survival. I usually don't do survival, so I'm, I'm a bit rusty here on my fundamentals. Eh, might as well make two. We're going to need it. Make two of those. I shall make a wooden... I shall make one of these. So, since resources are limited, I'm not 100% sure what I should build. I'm thinking a bucket might be a necessity here. I'm thinking a bucket might be a necessity, but I'm not going to build one until I absolutely need it. So, to conserve resources here, I'm going to use the wooden pickaxe as much as possible. We'll use this as much as I possibly can to gather up stone and stuff, because this is all renewable. What I would like to do is head to one of the other dungeons in a while, probably the next episode or two, and I'm going to see if we can't find skeletons, because I'm going to need them. Hmm. I am just going to kind of let the pig population grow on its... I'm just going to kind of leave the pig population to roam free here. Even if they are idiots. Okay, this should be an adequate amount of... 
That's probably enough cobble. I need coal. Oh, good iron. Iron is going to be a very, very, very important resource in this coming, in this game coming up here. Because I don't know how much we have, so I will smelt it, but I'm not sure how much to smelt or how much not to smelt. And I'm using my stone pickaxe, even though I said I wouldn't. Just the kind of Minecraft player I am. Terribly inefficient. Alright, good. That should be an adequate amount here. This first episode's going to be kind of boring, you know. It's probably a good one to skip. More or less just to announce the new series. I will do a lot off-camera so you guys, we can jump right into the action and stuff. Got one iron out of all that. Oh, good, my tree grew. Getting wood? What? That's a bit bizarre. Alrighty, so, now well, let's talk here. Since I'm still working on my commentating. There's like a weird mind frame that you have to get in where you're not quite paying attention to the game, but you're still able to do it. It's, it's so hard to describe, but you gotta get in this really weird frame of mind when you do it. So, it's very, very hard for me to describe. I've done it a couple times, but... You kind of have to be half paying attention to the game and, like, dedicated fully to your thoughts. You really have to be a good multitasker, which I am... I am not. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I am the worst multitasker on the face of the planet. I cannot, like, do more than one thing at once. It's... It's just a fact. It's a fact, Jack. That's the facts, Jack. Oh, who says that? Uh, somebody from Duck Dynasty or something like that. Nah, I don't give a damn. Just plant all of those. Let's get my... I dumped off all the birch sap. Things haven't dumped anything into the chest yet, so... Eh, this should all go away in a little bit. Yeah, there it goes. Starting to degrade. There has been an ongoing debate, and I'm not sure if it's true or not, but I've been told you supposedly get more, re you get more sapling drops if you just let it decay... If you just let them decay. I'm not sure if that's 100% true or not. If anybody has an answer, please let me know. I'm not new to this. I've been playing Minecraft since 1.2.5, but it's all the little, excuse me, all the little intricacies that I don't know. Alright, so I'm starting to die of hunger here. I have an astounding pig population. Do a little bit of natural selection here. Only the intelligent will live. Oh, one, two, three. Should be able to cook plenty of these. No, no. There we go. So I gandered off to that island right there, the next one. It's got a difficulty level of medium. I think this one should be danger level none. No, bad pig. I gandered off to the other one, and I just pointed over there, because reasons. But it's actually a danger level of medium, so I'm not going to quite gander over there yet. Yet. till I can hopefully guarantee my survival, which I can't yet. I cannot guarantee my survival yet. But what I really need is carrots. Yeah, that's what I need. Anything good around here? Alrighty, I think I should be safe to use stone tools. Because stone is abundant, and I'm pretty sure all of the biomes. Okay, so coal's going to be a very valuable resource, since there's so little of it. Um, what else is there? Coal I'm going to have to use sparingly. I'm going to have to use coal for only torches. Cooking I can leave up to... I can leave cooking up to, you know, the wood and stuff, but... Coal is going to have to be exclusively for torches. 
because I don't want to go through the tobacco of running out of coal. Now, supposedly on all the islands, there's a hidden chest. So, off camera, I'm going to dig out this entire island, and I'm going to go look for that. Maybe I'll get lucky and get hit by a truck. But hopefully I can find it. If it's not on this island, I'll be kind of bummed. As I couldn't imagine where this thing could possibly be. Unless if it's in this hill somewhere. This very suspicious looking hill. Nope, seems clear. But like I said, I can... But like I said, I'm going to... Look around, dig this entire bottom area out, and... Uh, maybe I'll just record and you kind of see what I did. Portal must be built in the cave just ahead, okay. If you play on a server, delete old folder netherworld, otherwise the network might not work as intended. Okay, I gotcha. S what else we got? So this is the island with the danger level of medium. I heard Enderman down there, so I'm kind of a little hesitant to investigate too far in here. Oh yeah, you can you can hear the mob spawning. But just because I'm here, I'm going to raid this thing for all the seeds I can. Within reason, of course. Because I'm going to need lots and lots of seeds. We got cows and sheep, so I'm not sure what they're going to be used for, but they might be used for achievements later down the line. What the heck are all these mobs? I guess I'll just have to tap into one of the caves. Entra I'll, just, I'll just have to tap into the cave. What else we got? Anything interesting? Wait a second, what? Plains biome danger little? I would have said this was a medium. Huh. Odd. Oh, come on. What else we got here? Uh, we got the plains biome. This is damaged, so I better be careful around here. Or, why be careful when you have dirt? And cobblestone. wasting cobblestone. Oh god, that could have been bad. So that looks like bridges and underwater area. Interesting. This kind of reminds me. This is kind of, um, oh good lord, what is it called? Oh look, a pig spawner. Hold up the phone, a pig spawner? Did we just discover an unlimited energy f food source? It's gotta have a certain light level. I'm gonna look into that. It looks like it's spawning pigs. Interesting. I shall definitely look into that, because if we can get that to spawn pigs... Holy crap, we have an unlimited food source. Okay, um... That is fantastic. I'm definitely going to make that base camp eventually. But um, unfortunately, that's all the time I've got for this episode, guys. I will release as part of a little, you know, bonus thing, me clearing out the entirety of this bottom part. But, uh, you know, if you guys have made it this far, I know my average view duration is pretty low, but if you guys have made it this far, you know, thanks for sticking around this Thanks for sticking around with the episode this late. Uh, thank you guys for your continued support. I'm going to stick with a permanent Minecraft series throughout the channel. Like, there is no question in my mind. I'll keep some kind of permanent... Oh, let's get food here. I'm not starving to death today. I'm definitely going to have some form of, form of a permanent Minecraft series going on at all times. I don't know on what yet, but... Uh... Eh. 
we'll wing it. So if you guys at any time enjoyed this video, please leave a like. That means a lot to me. Comment. I love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Subscribers are very important to me. Like, I love it when you guys have a vested interest in my channel. So until next time, guys, this has been Bleaker. See ya.